IFA 2017, LG unveiled its latest flagship handset, the V30, and it is the first smartphone ever to feature a glass lens with an f1.6 aperture. Not only is it good for photos, it's also going to be great for videographers because LG has stuffed this dual camera phone with a lot of options for aspiring filmmakers. So let's take it around Berlin to test this baby out. In general, the V30 was great at taking pictures that were vibrant, crisp, and bright. At least in optimal daylight conditions anyway. And the same goes for videos as well. One of the V30's coolest and most impressive new features is the point zoom tool in video mode. You have to activate cine video first, which applies a bunch of filters to your footage, but then you can tap any area on the screen as your point of focus, and then when you hold down the toggle for the zoom, the V30 knows to focus on that area, whether it's in the center of the screen or off to the side, and zoom into that to fill up your frame. Let's be real, this is not only impressive and useful, but a lot of fun. LG has done this since at least the G5, where it has a telephoto and wide-angle lens side-by-side. -side. On the V30, it's got a 13-megapixel wide-angle lens as well as the regular 16-megapixel sensor. Switching between the two is a lot of fun. You get that close-up little shot of your subject, and then you zoom back out to take in the rest of the vista. Not only is that really versatile, but it's a lot of fun. However, the wide-angle lens seemed to have a bit of issue with dynamic range. As you can see in this picture, parts of the sky are blown out, whereas the darker bits of the picture are hard to see. This also happens with the standard sensor, which tends to overexpose sometimes. But if you know what you're doing, you can compensate for that. Pro photographers will also appreciate the V30's manual mode, which allows you to adjust settings such as shutter speed, exposure compensation, and as you can see, manual focus with focus peaking on screen. What's really cool too here is as you adjust each dial, the phone vibrates slightly with haptic feedback to mimic the feel of adjusting the gears on a DSLR. Speaking of DSLRs, like I said before, the V30 is the first smartphone to feature a glass lens with an f1.6 aperture, and that really shows. The clarity that the V30 delivers is obvious here in this close-up of the flower. Even when you zoom into about 100%, details like the striations on this petal are extremely clear. That clarity comes through in video as well, and aspiring filmmakers or even semi-professionals are going to appreciate the fact that the V30 can record in a Cinelog format, which allows you a lot more flexibility to post-process your videos after the fact. Moving on then to the front camera, which, you know, is very important to me. The front-facing camera here has a 5 megapixel sensor and it takes sharp, vibrant selfies. I also like that it has a wide-angle mode that allows me to squeeze in just a little bit more extra scenery here in beautiful Berlin or, you know, a couple extra colleagues. So the V30 performs well in daylight, but how does it do in low light situations? I was really expecting the V30 to do a lot better in low light given its wide 1.6 aperture, but frankly it didn't do that much better than the competition. You'll still notice a bit of noise in the background of these pictures you see here, and some distortion possibly because of software noise reduction effects. Still, it's nothing major to complain about. You'll still be able to take photos of your food at that fancy new restaurant or nightclub you're going to. After all that, I gotta say, my day with the V30 has been pretty fun. It's a really efficient and versatile camera, and I especially love the dual camera feature that let me switch between regular and wide-angle lenses. But I think the thing I'm gonna use most of all moving forward is the video improvements, especially that point and zoom feature. It's going to be in all my videos moving forward. In the meantime, if you wanna check out more about the LG V30 as a phone, look at our full hands-on that's already live on the site. And stay tuned to Engadget.com for more news out of EVA 2017.